Hello everyone. Today we are going to look at how to create a family tree with Family Tree Maker. A family tree is where you gather and enter your family facts and details. If this is the first time creating a family tree, then you may want to visit this option. Enter a few facts and you'll be on your way. We are using Family Tree Maker 2019 version 24.2 on a Mac computer. To find out how it's done, keep watching. We're going to create a tree in Family Tree Maker. Now there's several ways to do this. On the left hand side, when you're in the plan button, see we click on here, plan. There's import existing tree, download a tree from Ancestry, download a tree from Family Search and restore a tree from tree vault and these are all your trees that you've had already but if you haven't got any trees this area will be blank so the first thing we do is enter what you know so we're going to enter a names so the person i would be making a tree for under name under sex you put the sex and then we put the birth date under birth date and the place of birth the father's name if you don't know this, it's okay, but I know the father's name, so we'll put in Benjamin Collins, and mother's name is Mary Smith. Now, if you want to name the tree something else, see where it says new tree name, you can put a tree name. Leave it Collins number two. And then we're here where it says new tree location. You can put it, if you click on that, now you can put it somewhere else if you want to save it in another drive or on a portable drive. But we're not going to do that so we're going to cancel and hit continue now it comes to this screen here this is where we can add more information um, we can add a spouse so we'll click on that and I'll put the spouse and we can put a marriage on the right hand side we can put marriage place we can put the death if you know the death and if you want to add a child you just come down the bottom and click on that where it says add child and you can add a child and the last name populates by itself and then you just change sex like just like that 
keep going with filling in all the information you know and when you get more you can fill in more now I've logged into family search and ancestry so you'll see these little blue squares that's saying there's a match on family search so we'll just click on this to see what it shows you see there's two matches on family search the top one's right and the bottom one's not so down the bottom it shows you what the information is this is your information on the left hand side and this is the information on family search on the right hand side so we'll go back to the top up the top where it says people and I just want to show you how if you've made a mistake and you go oh I made a mistake so how do I fix it so you go to plan and there's two tabs tasks and change log and see this is the last one we did so if you see this one click on that and you go roll back change roll back changes it backs up the tree and it's taken all the tree out the changes so we can add those back in if we've made a mistake now I've re-entered that information now I'll show you what the person view looks like so if you go up the top you click on the person and that's what the person view looks like so we'll go back and we'll find Elijah and it shows you his name his sex his birth his death and his marriage now up here there's a timeline button if you click on that it changes it to this view and you go show historical facts it shows everything that's happened in history at the same time see it says Titanic disaster 1912 and you can put also show family events and it shows the birth of his spouse in pink Your show has a relationship view and it has his father as biological his mother and his spouse and his child and you click on the facts button to go back we go back to tree up the top there's next to the color coding button there's a few other buttons there's the add a person button so you click on that it said add father add mother add spouse add a child add an unrelated person so you click on either one that you want to add next to that is the delete button make very very sure that you want to delete that because it deletes a whole lot of things down the bottom there's custom view so if you click on custom view you can add other things so we could add a baptism and we could click on that and just click it up to under birth and we could add a burial click on this little button here and it adds it the shared facts is down below so we could add um, divorce 
the marriage ban and we click on that and just click on this to push it up a little bit and you can do whatever you want and you can also put a custom fact so if you put new custom fact you can make a new label and that will go in that little spot but we don't want that um, what else cause of death census anything you want and then when you've done you just click OK and it changes the screen on the right hand side if you want to print this there's a little button up the top that says print just move this over so you can see and it's printing a pedigree chart, a family group, family view report, family individual report, a photo album, relationship chart, or a timeline report. We'll cover that in another video. And then there's the share button. You can click on that and it gives you all the ways to share it. Upload to Ancestry, send it to all those reports, or export it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider giving it a like, subscribing to the channel, hitting that notification bell, and maybe even leaving a comment. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.